Hello, welcome back to RC Video Reviews. I've got a motor for an unboxing. Now, I normally don't do too many motor unboxes, but I've never had this brand before. This is my first opportunity to get my hands on one and check it out. So come back after the break and we'll jump right into it. All right guys, so this video is sponsored by BitGo Hobby. I mentioned that I was gonna be doing a shootout and he said, hold on, we'll send you one. <laughs> so I'm excited to have the Tomcat in the motor shootout, but I'm not, I'm not familiar with the motor. I've never had one before. So I wanted to do an unbox and take a look and see what you get and kind of do an initial assessment or a first look. So without any more talking, let's get into it. By the way, if you haven't been to BitGo Hobby yet, check them out. They've got a wide range of products. They've got electronics, radios, motors, ESCs, batteries, chargers, dynamo airplanes, and they've got a full range of stuff. Um, very comprehensive website. So if you haven't been there, make sure you get over there and check them out. They, they, uh, they do a good job carrying some pretty compelling hardware that I'm recently becoming very familiar with. Okay, the standard hardware, you've got the compression collet and the screw-on type and one thing I don't know, I'll make sure you can see that there's, if you're not familiar with that, that's actually a very handy little thing to have because that is for a spinner with a screw that goes in from the front. So if you want to use one of the aluminum spinners, that's kind of what that, that's what that looks like it's for. Anyway, so you got the screw on prop adapter, the compression collet, and of course the X plate. And here, here's the, here are the groceries. This is what I've been curious about, is to get my hands on one of these and see what is going on. This looks like 14 AWG wire. And looking inside at the windings, everything in there looks pretty good. I don't see, I don't see any problems. One thing I noticed is that they've got an Allen key there for pushing the shaft. So the idea is that you take this collet off the back and remove that or loosen that allen key you should be able to push the shaft down to make room for the adapter i i kind of like these better than the compression collets i just feel like they're safer so it's nice to see that as an option but yeah the g32 all right uh for specs this is a 4320 830 kv seven turn motor the website says the max wattage is up to a thousand i did some quick math off their numbers uh Continuous current is 42 amps. If you take a thousand divided by 42, you wind up with 23 and change, which is right at a 5S pack. So they're suggesting between three and five cells and the prop range is 11, seven to 14, 10. And it says for 12 slots, 14 poles. That's good to know for the, the judge when we put that on the judge. And then the shaft diameter is five millimeters. The weight is 208 grams. And they suggest a 70 amp ESC, which seems, yeah, that's probably not a bad idea when they say the burst current goes up to, up to 60, so I would believe that. As far as the machining goes, it looks very good. I mean, I've, I've had my fair share of cheap motors, and I can tell you that that does not look like it's poor machining quality. It looks like decent machining quality to me. It's like they've done a nice job on that. All right, here's the hardware you get. So a handful of Allen keys, which is kind of, that's a lot of, Allen, <laughs> that's a lot of Allen keys, but I guess they give you one for everything. Those are your X plate mounts, which is good. These are going to be, they look like they actually give you the blind nuts and the screws for mounting this to a firewall. Well, that's kind of cool. These are the four screws that you get for screwing the screw on prop adapter. They give you washers for that would go with the that would go with the firewall mounting hardware, and they even go so far as to give you some barrel connectors for your ESC, which is kind of cool. Not everyone does that. So there you go. There's the unbox. I think we need to put this on the stand and take a listen to it. I love listening to these motors. That tells me a lot about their quality when I hear the bearings. So. Give me a minute to get the judge out and we'll put it up on the judge and give it a quick spin. All right, so here's the game plan. I've got a couple of, I'm not doing prop tuning. I just wanna throw this on there to see how 
this motor performs. It says up to 1,000 watts on an 11 by 7 5 cell, and the range is 3 cell all the way up to 5 cell. So I'm going to try to start with. I've got a 3 cell battery, just, just top that off, and I'm going to run that with a 14 by 85 APC prop. So I'm going to put APC on there so we know. And I just want to see what it does. And by the way, I'm using the ZTW 80 amp ESC. Even after all that stuff with the YEP ESC that we talked about, minimally, marginally, at the, at the very bottom of it all, the ZTW performs as good as name brand, other name brand ESCs. So this 80 amp ESC was provided by Black Hat Shopping on Amazon. So check them out. They carry all of the ZTW products and they ship quick. You know, they do Amazon Prime and and they are helping us out by providing the ESC for our bench testing. So we've got an 80 amp on there. The book only calls for a 70. So let's just run a three cell test and see what we get. Okay, there's the prop calibration to make sure that our throw maxes out with this ESC. Again, this is a 14 by 8.5. I'm just going to do a little bit of a run-up, make sure everything sounds okay, the prop's going in the right direction, then we'll run, a, we'll run a full power test. And of course the prop's not going the right direction. So we've got to switch that. Ugh. Now it's going the right direction. All right, we're going to run this up with a 3S battery with a 14 by 85 prop, and we can go as high as 60 amps and as high as 1,000 watts. So here we go. Let's run it and see what happens. I saw 2642 on the thrust. I got to run the RPM again. All right, I saw 7643 on the RPM. And here we go for the amperage. We got 4697. And for the volts min. I saw 10.82 and for the watts I saw 523. I'm just going to check my work on that real quick. Okay, 523 divided by 46.97, 11.13. Now it's in the range of reason. So only 523 watts at 46 amps with a three cell. So obviously that's not where you want to be. And, and you know, that's not what I'd expect either. Oh, I didn't get the, yeah, I did. I got the thrust 2642 on the thrust and I do have the pole set, right? So yeah, that's, um, you know, no surprise there. That's, that's not where we want to be. This, this really deserves a five cell battery. So let me flip over to the five cell and I'm going to use, an APC 11 by 7 prop and let's see what happens with that. Okay, I'm just going to plug in this 5 cell. I'm going to calibrate the ESC again. Back down to zero. Okay. All right, let's give a listen, make sure everything looks okay. I'm learning when I change these props to give them a good check, make sure nothing's loose. All right, let's spin this thing up and see what we get. I'm going to be looking for thrust and RPM, and I'll get the volts, amps, and watts after I slow it down.
man, <laughs> I got to be honest with you. That's a little intimidating to put one of these motors on a test stand like that and run it up because it just sounds like I've got a tiger by the tail. I wrote a number. I think it was 3,700. Let me just run it again. I thought I, thought I saw 3,690. I'll check it in post, but I'm going to write 3692 because that's what I saw. And as far as RPM, I got 13,578. Let's check the numbers. So we had 60 amps peak, 60.60 peak. We had 11, 11.72 on the watts. And we had 19.17 on the sag. So there we go. I mean, that's pretty good. Their numbers that they advertise in the book are 1,000 watts at 60 amps burst and 40 amps continuous. So I'd say you're right there at 11 with an 11.7 prop and 5-cell battery. It's, it's exactly what they advertise. So bravo for that. Now, this that's just one test, though. You know, what's going to be coming up, and I mentioned this earlier in the video, is I'm going to do a shootout. I've got another kind of a budget option. And I've also got some expensive motors like the Cobra and the Rimfire. And we're going we're gonna to do a shootout, a full-fledged shootout later. But there's a first look at the Tomcat G32. I would say that it's what they advertise, which always makes me happy. If it performs the way they say it should perform, I'm, I'm happy with that. And um, stay tuned for the shootout because definitely we're going to be doing an in-depth kind of comparison to figure out if the premium prices we pay for some of these motors are worth it or not. So that's all I've got for tonight. Thanks again to Bitco Hobby for sponsoring this and providing the motor for testing purposes. And uh, keep an eye on the channel for the next video to drop because I'm gonna start getting into that shootout material pretty soon. All right guys, hope that's been informative and helpful for you. If it is, please consider subscribing. I definitely appreciate every subscriber I get. And don't forget to keep those comments going in the forums or in the comments section. Everybody's been very good about that lately, helping, helping the videos get traction out there in YouTube world. So I appreciate that. And have a good one. Happy New Year.